Hello and welcome back to my channel. As many of you guys already know, I am totally obsessed with my skin tightening treatment devices. I'm always looking for the next big thing when it comes to my skincare. If you throw yourself back seven or eight months ago, you will see that I look like a completely different person. But the reason I look different isn't down to dermal fillers or Botox or surgery or anything like that. It's all down to dedicated at-home skin treatments. I am literally so tired of watching videos with with people making all of these claims about devices and talking a load of because they've been paid to say something or they've been sponsored yada 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 I just don't agree with that I think if you're gonna be demonstrating a product to someone you need to be honest about its performance about its price point about its quality because at the end of the day when you put yourself out there and you make all of these claims and they don't work that comes back to bite you on the ass so in today's video I am doing another half face treatment only this time I'm using two different devices the first device the one that I feature the most because it is my absolute favorite machine is this beauty right here and the next device I'll be using is the mini RF microcurrent machine so I've literally done so many videos about this one already if you don't know about this one check out some of my past videos or check my website for more information so this device arrived around about two weeks ago and it makes some pretty big promises but will it live up to the power and performance of my old trusty RF machine this mini radio frequency microcurrent device comes with a whole host of features obviously it's got radio frequency which we already know is great for collagen production elastin production and tightening the skin but it also features EMS microcurrent it also has mesoporation and electroporation which basically means it can push products deeper into your skin helping it to reach those lower layers it also includes phototherapy which comes with a variety of LED lights in different colors now each color is supposedly supposed to work in a different way as an example the red LED light is supposed to help soften wrinkles tighten the skin all of that stuff the flashing pink LED supposedly works in the same way as microneedling I don't know how they work that one out but you know maybe it does help to push products deeper into the skin so that's a quick review of those two products that I'm gonna be trialing today the face is already clean so I'm gonna draw myself a line down the middle again that is one wonky line I don't think that line could be any more uneven if I tried but you know it's separating the face into the two sides and that's what I want this time I am going to use the larger RF machine to do the left hand side and then I will treat the right hand side with the other device the first thing I'm gonna do is apply my gel just get plenty on there if you want to know how to use this device the different settings to use the intensity levels durations all of that stuff as I mentioned earlier check out some of my past videos I've got a few detailed tutorials on this so for this treatment I will do 20 minutes on this side with my large RF device and I will do 20 minutes on this side with the smaller mini RF device and then we'll take a look at the results Okay, the forehead is done on this side. Now it's time to do the eye area. So device contact, level five and on. Let's just dab off the excess glycerin gel. So next up. So with this device, I'm gonna use the red LED setting for the phototherapy as the red light is supposed to help with wrinkles and fine lines. Already straight onto the red, I will select the power level. So one, two, three, four. Okay, that's maximum power is level five. This has the photon activated, it's got the RF activated, and it's got the EMS microcurrent. But then all you do is it's automatically turned on, touch it to your face. I really feel no heating whatsoever from the RF, like there's a very mild warming. All I can really feel is the tingling sensation from the microcurrent. Now with these devices, the idea is that you lift the skin. So with the smaller one for the larger RF device, you wanna use it in a circular motion, up and down, back and forth, because you're really trying to heat that skin up to the lower layers and make sure everything is even. With this one, what you're supposed to do is on the way up, you apply some pressure and lift as you go and then release your pressure and slowly glide it down 
I can really feel that tingling around there. So the first issue that I'm facing with this device is that I really can't do the lower eyelid area properly because you have to have all four points of this in contact with the skin for it to work properly. And the thing is that as soon as you hit the cheekbone, one or two of them are lifting up and without applying huge amounts of pressure to keep all of them down, it's not gonna work on the, the lower eyelid properly, although I can feel the microcurrent. Again, I have no idea how I'm gonna do the upper eyelid, I guess like that. Okay, so that works. So you can glide so that there's a point of contact above the eyebrow and below the eyebrow. This is so difficult trying to do around the eye. If I held my other device on this side for this amount of time, I would have burnt a hole in my face by now. I really don't see how they can advertise this as a radio frequency device. There is nowhere, nowhere, nowhere near enough heat generation to break down the collagen and then start to regenerate it and to improve elastin. I'm not sure if the heat actually might only just be coming from the LED lights. So looking at me now, seeing that I've treated both sides for an equal amount of time using radio frequency, just one is a mini radio frequency microcurrent, one is my dedicated radio frequency machine. Which side do you think has made the most difference? With the dedicated radio frequency machine, the eye is way more open, the lines have pretty much vanished. The texture of my skin is looking so much clearer when looking at this side. I would say that there's not too much of a difference. They look slightly softer. Would I notice it myself if I looked in the mirror tomorrow? Nah. So what I need to do is leave my skin around about 30 minutes to cool down and then we'll get a better idea of the actual results. Hey, I'm back. So it's been around about 40 minutes now. So let's do a close up. So for me, there is no comparison between these two. The side that I treated with my larger radio frequency skin tightening device, winner. And I've been using it right from the start of my skincare journey up until now. It's never let me down. It's never broken. It's always done exactly what I want it to. I can literally feel the hooded eyelid on this side, like where it's hanging slightly. Whereas this side, I can't really feel anything now, like where everything's open. The skin on this side of my face feels tighter, more taut and firmer, whereas this side, it doesn't really feel any different than before I started. I don't know guys, like when you look in the mirror yourself, you can kind of misjudge things as we're so used to seeing our own faces. So I'm gonna leave this up to you to decide which side do you think is better? Do you think my dedicated radio frequency machine has performed better or do you think the mini radio frequency microcurrent and phototherapy devices worked better? I'm gonna leave the judging up to you. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Maybe I'm biased towards this machine just because it's the one that I am so familiar with and I'm used to using, but I really don't think that, that that comes into the equation. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. If you've got any questions whatsoever, whether it's about my dedicated RF, whether it's about my smaller RF, whether it's about microneedling products, anything like that that you wanna ask me, drop it down in the comments below and you know, I'm gonna to get back to you and if you've made it this far into the video thank you if you haven't already hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get updated every time i upload a new video and yeah guys that's it so until next time see ya